All right, so I'm back, and today uh, I wanted to talk about the um, figures that were shown for the Toy Fair, which was not last weekend, but the weekend before. Uh, where did it go? There it is. I just want to pull this up. So I can actually see. Now, before we really get into <laughs> anything, uh, uh, a couple weeks ago I did uh, Ranch of the Week where I talked about um, what was I talking about? My top ten figures of last year. And uh, I said I, I, I really hope that they continue making more of them and everybody was coming like, oh my god, you didn't hear it. It's like well, I recorded that before the, all the conventions happened, so no, I hadn't heard about it when I recorded it. But by the time the video went up, yes, I did hear about it. But Masterpiece Dinobot is the next Masterpiece figure. Or at least the next new mold, I think. Um, I'm, I'm like, ecstatic. I, I, I was at work, and everyone in the, on the first floor probably heard me go, Yes! Because I was just watching all the news that was coming out for new toys and stuff like that, and I got really pumped for it. And it's like, all right, Masterpiece Dinobot, here we go. Um, so yeah, I am very excited about that. Um, so we had a, a bunch of figures that uh, were announced and more pictures were shown. Um, let's see, I think there's a Headmaster Windblade. Um, so Top Spin is, is the, coming out in the next wave, uh, of Titans Return from right here, and then we get, we're gonna get a Twin Twist, um, uh, which is, they look great, um, so if you guys missed, if, if you guys missed the Mech Ideas one, you know, here's a, here's an option to get some cheap ones, um, if you have the Mech Idea ones, then you're, you're, you're golden. Um, there's, uh, let's see here, a remake, a retool of this guy, uh, into Metal Hawk, I believe, and I believe we're getting a special set with, uh, Power Master Prime, um, we're getting Blitzwing, uh, we knew that when we saw the Megatron mold, so... It's, it's not that much of a surprise. I will say he looks terrible. <laughs> um, he does not look good to me. Um, I'll, I'll reserve full judgment until I actually have him in hand, but that one, that one I'm, not, I'm not too pumped for. The Octane, now I'm not an Octane fan whatsoever, but he looks awesome. Um, maybe that's because I'm not a fan of Octane, and so it's like, okay, this is cool. Um, so yeah, that's, that's exciting. Um, there's Pounce, um, so I hope we get a Wingspan. Um, we're of course getting, um, Overlord. So that looks great. Um. You know, for those of you like me who don't want to spend $180 for the MMC one, yes, that is a superior product. There's no question there. We're not we're not competing those two, but for 50 bucks, I think this one's going to be a better option for a lot of people. Um, there's uh, sea spray. That's, that looks good. Um, little red car. I can't remember who he was. I can't remember him. Um, fast track? Fast lane? I think. Um, tidal wave. Now, um, he looks good. I think it's a good reuse of that mold. Now, am I happy he's going to be made as a Voyager? No, not really. Um, I will get him. Because uh, he does look good. Um, but it, it's one of those that's like Hasbro really isn't thinking things all the way through when they're making their figures. And it's very apparent here. Um, 
because they got a leader class Armada Megatron, a Voyager Tidal Wave, and a Deluxe Starscream. Uh, the way they should have done it was have the Megatron a Voyager so that he was closer to Starscream size and then have Tidal Wave as a um, leader class because Tidal Wave was the biggest one in Armada, uh, aside from Unicron, of course. So it, it kind of sucks to see, you know, they reverse that scale because in, in the show... You could easily see Starscream was almost the size of Megatron, so a deluxe to a Voyager fits better than a deluxe to a leader class. So, so there's that. Uh, that was slightly disappointing. Um, they're doing a more G1 accurate Optimus Prime, uh, or more G2 accurate Optimus Prime from the Octane mold. There's a pink car thing. That's probably going to get retooled into... It looks like Blur, but it's probably going to get retooled into um, RC at some point, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah. Uh, all, uh, I don't think it was an amazing uh, year for reveals at the Toy Fair. Um, I think Hasbro's doing their own convention this year, so... If that's the truth, then they're they maybe they're holding some stuff back for that. Uh, is my only thought. Um, I mean, we got. I mean, it's Titan Returns. It's like half of these things we already knew was coming as soon as we saw the first one. It's like as soon as we saw Sentinel Prime here, we knew that Astro Train was coming. It it's, it's it was apparent. I mean, it's not even you know. It's just it's like well, duh. So, I'm going to see if I can harvest this guy so I can use some better joints on my Astro Train, actually, now that I have him. Anyway, um, so yeah, it, it's just, yeah, one of those things that's just like, yeah, there was some good reviews. Oh, Trypticon. Can't forget about Trypticon. Uh, he looks great. Uh, he looks amazing. Um... Uh, he looks so much better than the Fortress Maximus and Metroplex, I, I, I will say. I think he looks a lot better than either one of those two. So, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for him. Um, yeah, yeah, he's, he's going to be pretty cool, I think. Um and hopefully that just makes them realize, like, hey, we need to keep making them. And I'm really crossing my fingers that we get a Gigatron. Come on, Gigatron. Um, or, no, Gigastorm? Gigastorm, I think it was. Yeah. From Beast Wars Neo or Beast Wars 2, one of the two. I can't remember all those things. <laughs> I try. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, it, that's a no-brainer. It's like, come on, Hasbro. That is an absolute no-brainer. Uh, you know Takara's going to do it. Uh, that's a guarantee. Um, maybe not Hasbro, but you know Takara's going to do it. Um, so that would be cool. And yeah, like I said, that trip to Con looks great. I, I, I'm looking forward to it. Probably won't see it till you know, end of the year. But, uh, but yeah, I'm... I'm not I, I wouldn't say I'm super excited for the upcoming Titans return. I am you know, I'm happy with it. Um Yeah, you know, and I'll, I'll like I said I'll probably pick most of these releases up as they come out. Um if I get a good deal on an early release I'll, I'll definitely pick it up. But uh uh yeah, uh, I mean I'm not gonna sit there and like fight for them. That's that's no no point there like you know uh, blur is a good example there it's like i'm not gonna spin or not blur but brainstorm it's like i don't want to i wouldn't spend the crazy like aftermarket prices this guy had you know or the early release prices that this guy had but Vanima walgreens again no you can't have him <laughs> i think i and i can't even remember how many people i bought the brainstorms for uh, and like shipped them out for you know at cost it's like every time I bought one it was like yes I found another brainstorm somebody was like hey I need a brainstorm I was like okay I'll hook you up 
But anyway. Uh, so yeah. Anyway. Uh, I, I'm Like I said, I'm not super like, oh my god, uh, about anything. Except for maybe Trypticon and definitely Dinobot. Uh, everything else is like, when it comes out, I'm going to get it. There's no question there. I'm going to get them. Uh, and I'm kind of interested to see what comes next. So, um, you know, we did the combiners. We're doing the headmasters. And, you know, whatever we do next could be uh, could be interesting. Um, yeah, I guess that's, that's really it. I mean, I know there's not much there. But um, what are you guys excited for with the new Toy Fair? And, yes, I know I didn't go through, like, the R.I.D. crap, but... I don't care about the R.D. crap. It's it's not my cup of tea. So if that's something you guys are interested in, great. You know, put it in below that that's what you're excited for. But that's not... I That's just not me. I can't get into the show. Can't get into the characters. Can't get into the toys. I just... I can't do it. I tried. I tried to watch the show. I really did. But... I, it, was, it wasn't very good. It, it's like, you know, kind of reverse of what happened with animated. The toys weren't very good. Quality control sucked, but the show was actually pretty good. Um, or Armada, reverse of it. Toys were actually really good for the most part for the Armada and Energon, or the whole Unicron trilogy. But the show was garbage. <laughs> but with this one, it's like the toys, I don't think they look good. And the show isn't very interesting. And a lot of people are like, well, if you give it enough time, it'll grow. I don't want it to grow on me. I watched the first episode of Beast Wars. I'm like, all right, let's do this. You know, uh, I watched the first episode of G1 back in the day. It was like, all right, awesome. You know, I shouldn't have to be like, okay, how much time do I need to invest in the show before it actually becomes a good show? Animated did that, but at least the first episode was interesting. And then, it, like, the first season kind of sucked, but... But it's like, this one, is like, the first episode, I was just sitting there, like, first off, I was confused, like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, I thought this was part of the Prime continuity, but it seems like it is, but it isn't, and it is, but it isn't. And yes, no, I don't know, it just... It made me sad. So, anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's really all there is... Uh, that I saw that I was interested in in Toy Fair. Most most of the figures that they announced I'll, I'll be picking up, especially, you know, Tidal Wave. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't like his size, but I like the way he looks. So I'll definitely pick him up. Uh, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So. Uh, 